I am always, always challenged when people tell me it was this one crazed man named Yigal Amir who murdered the Prime Minister. It was one individual named Yigal Amir who pulled the trigger. But let's remember that the months and even the several years before that unbelievably devastating Motzei Shabbat in Tel Aviv when he was gunned down, was the demonization, the vilifying of this man. I was in the demonstration. I was watching our Prime Minister sing Shir La Shalom. I saw him sing. On the bus home, I heard he was shot. When I arrived in Jerusalem, I heard he was killed. I wept with my, my oldest son when I told him that. If I were to ask what was his most important attribute, I would say integrity. He called it like he saw it. And sometimes it wasn't what other people thought. We were all in shock, my whole synagogue here in West Hollywood, because we had just been in the municipality building. We had just stood on those very steps in which Yitzhak Rabin was so brutally assassinated. I immediately thought of John F. Kennedy's assassination as well and where I was at that moment and how it changed the course of America. And I realized that the course of Jewish history now has changed as well. I, at the time, was the president of uh, my Nifty region, Nifty Car, in Chicago. And um, the moment that we learned of the assassination, we were filled with two kinds of pain. One, the obvious pain of uh, the assassination and the murder of Yitzhak Rabin. And the second was when we learned very quickly afterwards that it was a Jew who killed him. One day, there will be peace between the Israelis and Palestinians because there is no other option. It will be more or less along the framework of Rabin's uh, vision for peace as articulated by the Prime Minister and the President of the United States, Bill Clinton. Uh, and at that day, people will look back and look at Prime Minister Rabin as the key figure that unlocked the gates of peace and allowed for peace to reign in the Middle East. What I take away from his life with Rabin as my hero, as my model of life and living, that whatever we do, whatever is needed of us, whether it's our families or our synagogues or our Jewish community or Israel or the world at large, that we give 100% of ourselves and understand that shared consciousness. Yitzhak Rabin's legacy has shown me that even today peace is possible.